Alright, hello everybody. Um, I'm doing a tutorial for once that I, like, don't do anymore. I never used to either. This is, this is new. So, um, as you uh, can see by the title, I'll be um, making button-operated uh, character. You can do this with multiple characters using the same script, but I'm just using uh, Marty for a, an example. So... First of course, you gotta build the button that will operate them. I'm just gonna do this. Let's anchor it. Alright, this is my button. So I'm gonna group this. And I'm gonna call it Marty Button. You can call this whatever you want, but just make sure you uh, make the script follow uh, what you called it. You know, to simplify things, I'm gonna call it Character Button. So then it works for every single person's character. Alright, then uh, add a new model to the workspace. And. Name it stage group. You can do that with the folder as well, I just like to use models for things. Alright, so stage group will pretty much be what we put our like props in if you have any props, and stage if you have a stage, but for this I will be Sorry about that. Right, I will be just using a simple block because I want the music to emit from speaker and I recommend you guys do this as well so like the music just play all over when you press the button. I usually have two speakers on either side like that and I will name this one um, speaker one. I will name this one speaker two. I will anchor them put them into the stage group. Since I, I like to be organized, I'm going to put them into their own model. I'm going to call it speaker. And then put the two speakers into there. Okay, right. So from here you add a sound to both of these. And I recommend naming the sound music or song. I'm gonna name mine song. Name both of them the same thing. Once you've done that, that's the speakers. Uh, and then, right, this is where the complicated stuff comes in. Um, right, so first of all, uh, select both of the um, things. You can do this one by one, but I recommend doing it at the same time. Set the uh, roll off maximum distance to 40 and the minimum to 3. That pretty much is so like it doesn't play everywhere or from a really long distance. It only plays from when you're like here, which makes much more sense. Alright, now I need to script the button. Let's first name the bright red part button. Insert a script and a click detector. Now because I like to be lazy, I'm gonna delete this script. Right, because I like to be lazy, I'm just gonna use my template because I only have ten minutes to record this video because I, I don't use I use a free trial of Bandicam. <laughs> Alright, uh auto button, right. So, so yeah. Copy this script down once I finished it, so Yes, this was originally made for an RPP ball, which kind of sucks, but... Alright, so set the... This for the autos, so Marty autos for me. And this to the bot, which is my... So, first of all... I'll do all the autos. So... All of these. Of course, some... Yeah, so... Actually, no. Yeah, all of these. 
So you know what, I'll come back to you guys when I finish doing all of these. Because then you can see the rest of the script. Alright, I'm back. I have a script with all of these in, and make sure both of th uh, the things are set to false. I will give you a couple seconds to copy this in. Of course, put these autos as your own character's autos. Same with putting these as the auto's name of your character and the, the bot name of your character. Also, I won't be teaching you how to do autos. You should already know how to do those if you've seen like Nick's tutorials, but... The button controlled things are what we're focusing on. So, from here... We will add a wait uh, timer and a wait timer on this one. We will go back into the base plate, and now's where we get to choose a song. I recommend if you don't know how to like, I mean, if you don't want to like manually script a mouth opening and closing for an entire song on exact timing, or at least just main timing, which will take hours. If you just want to do it, uh, like. If you want to do it quicker, just get the instrument that your character's playing. For example, mine's playing guitar. If your character's playing instrument. And, um... Just find a song that just uses that instrumental. So, for example, I am going to use... Um... I'm going to use lively acoustic guitars. I've used this once before as a Roblox official audio. Uh, just for the sake of uh, my mic being somewhat quiet, I'm going to set the volume to 0.3. Maybe 0.2 actually. Yeah, 0.2. Actually, no, I, di I didn't need to do that. Right. So the sound ID, you copy the sound ID, and then you delete that, and you go into stage group speaker, and then you open both of those. You Select both of them, like I said, you can also do this manually, and find sound ID, and paste in what you just copied to both of them. If you want to go, like, super advanced, uh, what I do recommend doing is adding a reverb on both of them. Um, as well, yeah, so adding a reverb to both of them. I'm not going to do that though, because that's just too much, kind of, and it's too try hard. I'm just going simple. So now we've got that typed in on both the songs, we have the ID, we've got to get at least just one of them, just go on to select one of them, and you should see the time length. Uh, the time length for me is 81.11, so we're going to go back into here and we're going to set the wait timer. Forever this is so of course mine is 81.11. I'm gonna set this to 81.11 Although I have used this song before and I know it has a long part on the end Now if yours does have a long part on the end, please count how many seconds that is and remove that many seconds From how long the song is and, f and like remove that from the wait And I know uh, I've done this before so I set mine to 74 But um, of course if yours ends when the actual sound ends, you don't need to do any of that. So I'm going to set that to both of the wait timers. And then, we go underneath the uh, final auto activator, and we type in this. Workspace dot character button dot button dot click detector dot max activation distance equals zero. Okay, so pretty much that means that you cannot click the button anymore once you've clicked it once. And then after this wait you click work you do workspace character button dot button click detector dot max activation distance and you set it back to what it is now. It's currently at thirty two so I'm gonna set that back to thirty two. And then you copy uh, all of the auto uh, scripts and change all of the last words to true. And then underneath uh, the top, um, click detector disable, you type in workspace 
our stage group. Speaker. Speaker one. Dot song. Also, you need to go into song and make sure it's not looped nor playing. It does that by default, but if yours already is and was taken from model, please disable that. So dot playing equals true. And then workspace dot stage group dot speaker dot speaker one song playing equals false. Workspace stage group speaker speaker two song playing equals false. Workspace stage group speaker speaker two song playing equals true. So that sets the uh, songs playing, and when this timer is over, the songs will end. Then you set... well, actually no, I'm not going to do this for the sake of time on the video. But, if you would like to reset the character's movements after the song is complete, add a wait timer here, and then underneath it, um, go through your bot, for example mine's my, find all of the movements, and get the hinge constraint target angle to zero or whatever you want it to be once that's over so since because for the second one we only have the wait timer i'm going to copy this put that there and copy this put it here so that's that done and then this is our script complete so let's test it out hopefully works this is the same same script each time so i'm going to move the button i'm just going to move the button upwards all right here we go So as you saw right there, that played the whole song and stopped the bot when the song ended. Now you can replay the song. Which didn't work. Um, I believe it's because we cut it off short. But that is okay. Uh, just a tip for when you're doing it. Uh, don't cut it off short, otherwise it will break. Like this, but... Yeah, that's practically how you do it with one mishap that I literally just told you how to fix. Uh, it might have some problems, but if you make a curtain close during a time or something, that should completely work. I might uh, teach you how to do, like, uh, quote-unquote auto-shows in the next tutorial, I don't know. But, button operated or not, that might be good, but yeah, that's how you do button operated characters. So, uh, yeah, see you when I do the, um, auto show, kind of.